Okay, so let's take a look at how you can import XML data into Microsoft's Power BI. So first thing, if you are on cloud version, you can simply sign in to your cloud account. Let's see if it allows us to upload the XML data. So go to create, then check for this option to add new content using files, then go for local file, right? Here I can use the XML data and as you can see directly uploading to cloud is not possible you need to use Power BI desktop so what we're going to do is we'll minimize this and check for Power BI right then open the application okay now that Power BI desktop is open we can go for a get data right now you can also go for get data through this particular ribbon button and it should open the same dialog box right here you can see it shows xml option click on connect now we can point to xml file and it should open in power query editor so basically it would allow you to view this data in a tabular format right so just select the record which is the top node of that xml file it should sort your data into columns like id item price date and city right and now you can simply click on load right so one more thing is once it is loaded what we can do is We'll see if we can publish this and allow the cloud version to take over. Right, currently we didn't build any visuals out of this. We do have fields over here that we can drop and create some visualization. However, I just want to publish this and view this in the cloud version. So say demo and once the demo is being saved within my workspace i can select that it will publish that particular file now we can see this particular file on desktop as well right so here you can see the file exists right so this is the file responsible for doing anything that is in sync with both desktop and our cloud account right so we'll go to cloud accounts workspace so for that we use browse then click on my workspace now here you can see the demo data set right and we also have the option for report so there is also option for auto reporting like let's see we choose to create the report by letting our cloud account do it using visualize this data option right so for that you go to browse check your data set and then click on create a report auto create it will go through the data and it will try and get the output for those values as you can see it will auto create sum of price count record how many rows are there then your data count of city how many items and their respective price also the price is sorted by date so all of this is done by auto creating of reports you don't get this option within your desktop but cloud account does have this so what i have done is i simply let this particular file go to cloud and from there it managed to auto create this report right you can see count count of item by date by city record by date price by date right so pretty much this auto report is handy in such case right so this was one of the example where you can simply create report from that xml data that you just used on both the desktop and cloud right so the next also the thing is uh, you can easily import 
files first into your desktop and then take them to cloud right now one more thing i want to check here is whether it's possible for us to directly enter the data from our xml files all the way to this tableau format right for that what i'm going to do is open this xml file in one of the text editors right so that text editor should give me right so let's see if i select everything copy it and let's say within this power bi desktop i can simply select the column and paste it as you can see it doesn't do justice for it as it doesn't recognize the headers and sort it by column so you will have to manually clean this and to do that only option is accepting through the data source in this case that would be xml file right as you can see this is the only option that you have one more option is what you can do is if you are unsure simply go for something like xml to csv data converter right so if you just want to use something like this let's see if we can do that so this is just an option so basically we can choose the file i will browse and get that xml file right here you see and if i want to convert this into csv and save to disk i can get it so here it immediately gives us the output for that file data right total 250 records as expected convert xml to csv or xml to excel so either one of that would do because using this in csv would be a lot easier and also uh, you would be able to get the data right and let's say if i use this csv file open this in excel right and see if i select all of this copy it and then let's see if i enter this within this create table option by manually entering it will properly get all those headers and respective rows so your data needs to be in a tableau format when you are using this enter data option right and only way to do that for both json and xml would be through search online tools that convert your files from one format to another right so that's one of the ways you can easily get your data to another format and also then import it within power bi so i'm specifying these one of these methods because sometimes you have larger data and you may not get your desktop to properly filter that so instead of going through all that trouble the most logical approach would be to simply use tools like this where you get to convert json to csv xml to csv and check your data so for up to let's say thousand rows or something such tools would do justice but if it's too big data then you will have to process it within short number of rows like let's say you have 500 rows or 1000 rows for your conversion of data right so that's one of the things that i wanted to explain so if you don't find such tools what you can do is you can also check if there are any premium tools or paid tools that can do the job right so in my case i found this free one online and i feel that it's easy to use and also you can use directly your xml data or file or even url so if you have it hosted something like this right simply copy the url and load the url and it will also generate similar data here then you can go ahead convert this to xml to csv or xml to excel and save to disk 
right and such tools usually have a lot of options where you can simply convert your data into any other file format as well so you may want to take a look at that so what we have seen so far is conversion of your XML data and getting it on Power BI and processing it and creating a report.